please welcome contestant number four, Nicole Sand. Indiana, Texas, California, and Maryland. The list goes on to describe 15 schools that were affected by school shootings in just 2018 alone. The violence targeted at schools is a rising e epidemic that is growing at an exponential rate and it needs to be diminished. In April of 2018, Forest High School was hit by a school shooting. The, according to a report by Fox News, the student entered the school with a gun in his guitar case. The US News and World Report lists this school with 100 teachers and 2,000 kids. A similar shooting happened in Marjorie Stoneman High School in Florida. The student entered the school grounds with an AR-15 rifle. This, this school has 3,000 students and 130 teachers. Both of these schools are fairly large, but Columbine High School in Colorado was much more like our school here at Big Bear High. It only had 1,000 children and 90 teachers. So since the size of the schools and the locations differ, we need to look at the specifics, starting with Marjorie Stoneman in Florida. The suspect was a former student named Nick Cruz. He arrived on school with an AR-15 that he purchased legally from Sunrise Tactical Supply after passing the federal background check. He was in foster care his whole life. Him and his brother, Zach, never knew their biological parents. Unfortunately, when at a young age, his foster parents died and they moved to live with his single aunt in Florida. A rocky childhood led to a troubled young adult. According to an interview of Zach Cruz after Nick was found guilty, um, published by the Washington Post, the signs were all there. Nick would scream uncontrollably, stab couch cushions, and punch doors after losing video games. He would walk around the house with a gun, pretending to shoot people, and blaring pumped up kicks, which was a song about becoming a school shooter. Zach also found texts saying of Nick talking to himself, saying that he wanted to go to the school and shoot everyone. Despite these blunt signs, Zach never reached out for help for his brother. The Columbine shooting in Colorado scarred the hearts of America. It was record-breaking with 13 kids killed and 20 injured. Despite the attempts at gun safety reform and safety in schools, many people wanted an explanation for the devastating event. Peter Langman is a psychologist who studies violent and suicidal tendencies in children. He, after sifting through multiple police reports, he found that Harris, who was the mastermind behind the shooting, was in fact mentally unstable. He was violent his whole life. There are many reports of him wanting to rip knives through people. He made bombs and fires for fun. He had a God complex, which was apparent when he wrote, I am God in Latin, on his other fellow students' yearbooks. He was obsessed with Hitler, natural selection, and the mass murder of the inferior. Despite all these signs, students, staff, or friends didn't report his disturbing behavior. So this topic was tricky for me because at Big Bear High School, we have a very secure campus. This is due to a staff of role models and a protective community. I honestly feel that if I was pulled over on the side of the road and I needed help, someone would pull over and help me. So how do we put that environment into other cities and schools? In an interview with Mrs. Reynolds, our US history teacher, and honors give econ teacher. We talked about the culture here at BBHS. The teachers are active role models inside and outside of school. In addition to the teachers, the rest of the staff is equally as important, and the counselors are educated on how to spot signs in a troubled child. The three previous shootings could have been prevented if a teacher had reached out, a student had reported the acts of violence, or a counselor had intervened. In addition to the internal school culture, we also need a protective community. This, we can do this by blending students and community members through activities and events. For example, at our school, um, we host Air Rock, which is an event that allows students to connect with important community members, such as the fire department and sheriff department. This forms a connection to the world outside of school, and it, give, and it, and it creates a family-like bond within the community. Everyone protects and looks out for each other. In conclusion, I believe the major step in diminishing school violence is a positive school, school culture created through the teachers and staff, a culture where the student loves going to school because they feel safe and protected. 
Connecting the in by connecting the internal culture to the community that watches out for each other, I believe we can greatly diminish school violence. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you.